Hey, what's up? This is Mike from Blood of the Wolf, and today I'm going to be trying out some different dyes and stains on this Laurel fretboard to see what's the best product for ebonizing your fretboard. <laughs> Alright, so I have this piece of Laurel fretboard. Uh, I'll put a link in the description where I bought this from. I got it off of eBay. Uh, it's an unfinished piece of Laurel that I suppose you could use for a fretboard. Uh, it's a little rough and I had to sand it. I had to sand it down to get it somewhat smooth. So I sanded it with 80, 150, and 220 and that's where we're at now. And the different products we're going to be using on this piece of laurel here is uh, Verathane Classic Black, which I've used on two other, two other fretboards, and I liked the results. <clears throat> I'm also going to try out some Higgins um, India ink. This is another product that I've heard people using to ebonize their fretboards. Some Rit fabric dye. This is the Jet Black. Phoebing's Leather Dye. And I figured since I'm doing this, I might as well try out this uh, Minwax Ebony Stain. I've used this before and I think it sucks, but might as well try it. So anyway, that's what we're doing. Let's get started. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the Verathane here. Put the Higgins India ink here. Feebling's leather dye. The Rit fabric dye. And then down here I'll do the Minwax. That will be the method. Alright, I'm going to start with the uh, Verathane Classic Black. Just going to use a piece of cloth here, uh, dip it into the stain, stain it, and then wipe it off. With this very thin classic black, um, you're not supposed to let it sit on the product. You just stain and then wipe it off, basically. And a little goes a long way on this. Well, this laurel took the stain like right away, just like absorbed it. There's not much excess at all to wipe away. Okay, so you can see what the classic black did. Let me get this nice and up close. Okay, that's just like one coat of the classic black stain. All right, let's try the Higgins India ink now. All right, this is just as watery as the stain. I'm gonna kind of shake this up, just because I don't know. Shook it up. Again, I'm going to use the same kind of application here, just a piece of cloth. Dip it into the India ink. Hmm. This is a little thinner than the classic black stain. It might take Yeah, this stuff's definitely thinner. Seems like it dries almost instantly. Okay. I feel like that's pretty good. Yeah, the Higgins India ink is thinner. I want to say it's more like watery. If that makes sense. It seems to 
seems to get absorbed into the wood almost instantly. Hmm. All right, well, here, let's do this. There's the Verithane Classic Black, and there's the Higgins India ink. I feel like the Higgins India ink is a little bit more even, and a little bit darker. I'll get another camera angle, so don't worry. So far, and I'm, I'm liking the way the Higgins India ink looks. And because it dries so quickly, it's kind of easy to tell whether whether or not you want another coat. Like, I could put another coat of this right on right now and make it even darker. So, I like that Higgins India ink. Alright, let's try the... Next up is going to be the, the Phoebings Black Leather Dye. Let me shake this up, too. All three of these products are very, very uh, watery and liquidy and could easily spill, so you want to be very, very careful. Let me just uh, shake this up a little bit, too. Okay. Phoebe's Leather Dye. Here we go. Again, cloth applicator. Just sort of brush this on. That is black. That is definitely, I would say, the darkest. It kind of goes on the easiest. I mean, not that any of these go on with any difficulty at all, but this one just kind of... Hmm. Okay. Just like the India ink, this leather dye kind of gets absorbed pretty quickly. dries quickly too. See not much difference between the leather dye and the India ink. I feel like they're kind of the same there. Alright, well, not seeing much of a different difference. All three of these kind of do the same thing. Let's try this writ dye. I'm curious about the writ dye, the fabric dye. I don't know why, but this one seems the weirdest one to me. I guess all the leather dye and India ink seem like weird products to stain your fretboard with too. All right, next up is the writ. This is fabric dye. Again, cloth applicator. Okay, the Rit dye, same thing with the Feeblings and the Higgins India ink. I really feel like <clears throat> these are very similar. You can kind of tell you're going to need to do multiple coats to build if you want to make it really dark. Very liquidy. Wipe off the excess here. Huh. I kind of like this writ. Jet black. It's actually kind of black. Very, I mean, like, blacker. Okay. So, no stain or dye. Here's the writ, the jet black. The Feeblings. The Higgins and the Verithane Classic Black. Now, I did kind of put a couple of coats of this Rit on there, but so far I think the Rit definitely looks like the solid, the most solid black saturated color so far. I think you could you could get this with the other ones too. If I did another coat of the fee uh, the feeblings, I bet you I could get it as dark, maybe. But so far, the darkest is that that writ. Okay, 
Now, let's do the final one, the one that I think is going to be the loser. Let's try the Yebony stain here. Not expecting much from this, but let's just see. The stain had definitely settled, so stirring is essential. All right, this is the Ebony. Now this you're supposed to leave on for like 5 to 15 minutes. You don't want to immediately wipe it off. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it for at least 5 minutes before I wipe off the excess. I'll come back. Alright, it's been about 5 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. And uh, so let me wipe this off. It looks like it's kind of dry anyway. Yeah, whoops. There's not much excess to be wiped off of the ebony. Okay, this has a sheen and an unevenness that I don't like to it. This is why I don't like this ebony. Like, up here you can see where it's like mostly wiping away, and then other parts where it's like it's not really wiping away, so it's darker. Like I said, it's kind of uneven. Okay, so I'm going to pick up the camera here and take a different angle of this, and then I'm also going to raise the blinds here, the shade, and then so we can let in the full light, and then you can see the... We'll see the fretboard like that too. Okay, so here's another here's another angle. We'll call this like the overhead looking down. There's the Verithane Classic Black. Higgins India Ink. The Phoebings Leather Dye. The Ritz. And then finally the Ebony. Now that's what I was talking about. You see that spot right there? Like where the stain didn't quite take, but it's darker in other places. The writ is nice and even and dark. I like that. The Phoebings, that one might be the worst. Though I wonder what would happen if I went over it with another coat. Same thing with the Higgins India ink. I wonder what would happen if I hit it with another coat. And then there's the Verithane Classic Black, which I could probably do another coat of that too. But I already know it's going to be it's going to work pretty well based on my previous experience. I'm still liking that writ the best. Okay, let me open up the shade here. Okay, this is like letting in all the light, all the natural light. Verithane Classic Black, Higgins India Ink, Feedlings Leather Dye, Writ, and the Ebony. All right, so I took this uh, piece of wood around the house and just looked at it under different light and sort of, you know, kind of changed the angle, too. That Phoebe's leather dye has a weird sheen to it. You can see it right here when I sort of turn the wood. As opposed to the writ, it's nice and flat in black and even and you can kind of see the streaks of the wood grain underneath so so far I definitely like the writ and I think the Higgins India ink is pretty similar to the writ dye and of course the Verithane Classic Black is a nice win and then this Minwax down here is just terrible because I mean even when you turn it it just has a very uneven quality to it yeah, the ebony, the Minwax ebony socks. I would say first place is the Rit, Higgins India Ink, the Verithane Classic Black, both good choices too. And I would stay away from the Feedings Leather Dye unless you want that sort of weird sheen. It'll be interesting to see how, how uh, the fretboard oil takes to this, but I'm going to let it dry for a good 24 hours. Okay, so this is after two coats and a full 24 hours worth of drying. So at the top you see the Verithane Classic Black. Below that is the Higgins India Ink. Below that is the Feeblings Leather Dye, Feebings, Fibings, whatever. And then the Rit Dye and then finally the Minwax. 
all the way at the bottom. Now, a couple of things I noticed I wanted to share with you, the viewers, is these, these stains have a different sheen that you can notice as you turn the board. So one thing I noticed right away about the writ is that when you turn it, it has a very uh, cloudy, hazy sort of sheen to it that I do not like. The Phoebings has a shine to it, almost like when you take a pencil and um, rub it on paper and then sort of turn the paper. It has like that graphite shine to it. The Higgins India ink, when you turn it, I don't know if I'm able to get this on the paper, it's kind of grayish sort of when it catches the light. And the Vera Thing Classic Black, honestly, I feel like I lucked out with this one being my first stain because I feel like it has the most consistent um, look to it. Like even if you lift this up and turn it, it's still like the blackest one, the blackest stain. Now the Phoebings, if you like that sort of glossy graphite finish, then maybe it's for you, but I think the Verithane Classic Black is the is the best product, product here. The Higgins India Ink would be my second choice, except for, there's something I noticed on the bottle here, it says it's non-waterproof. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, like, get this damp and see if what happens. Uh, the Phoebings, I wouldn't recommend this for a couple of reasons. Well, my personal taste, I don't like the way it shines. Like right there, you can see it. See how the Higgins India ink doesn't have that shine to it? Neither does the Rit. The Phoebings has a weird sheen to it. But the second thing about the Phoebings is it's not coming off the tape. So I would be very hesitant to recommend this product because I don't know if you would get this off of your inlays or binding if you had any of that. The writ is a pretty the writ's pretty good except for that real cloudy sheen. So anyway, okay, so what I'm gonna do next now is I'm gonna take this uh this laurel board here and hit it with steel wool and then put some uh, F1 oil on it and see how the different dyes react to the steel wool in the F1 oil. So that's next. Okay, I went ahead and did the steel wool. Just a light job, nothing too heavy. Um, let me kind of turn the board and see if it did anything for those various sheens. No, nah, the Phoebings the is still pretty shiny. The Ritz. Uh, it looks kind of worse <laughs> after the steel wool. Uh, the Higgins India ink and the Verithane, I don't see much change in those two. But that writ definitely looks worse. Now, just for an example here, let me flip the board over so you can see like what the laurel originally looked like. I mean, the writ's not terrible compared to the back. But I would still say the Higgins India Ink and the Verithane are probably my the two best that I'd recommend. Let me get some water real quick and see what happens if I get if I get this damp. I'm mostly worried about like it says it's not waterproof. I'm not worried about water getting on the fretboard, but sweat, um, spit, saliva. I don't know. Let's see. Okay, I put a drop of water on there. Let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, I'd be worried. I would, I'd stay away from this stuff. See what's happening? A drop of water, and it's coming off on my fingers. A drop. Like, I literally took this glass, I stuck my finger in there, and I shook a drop off on the board. And see what's coming off on my fingers? So yeah, I would, I was almost going to say that this would be my second choice here, but now that uh, I notice it's not waterproof going on here, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. All right, so last, 
let's uh, let's go ahead and put some fretboard oil on this. Okay, here are the final results after using some F1 oil. This is the RIT Jet Black. Hold on a second here. I'll do this. RIT Jet Black. Thebing's Leather Dye is next. Which this did take nicely to the oil. I like the Phoebe's leather dye. I'm still just, I don't like how this stuck to the tape at the top and the bottom. Worry, it makes me worry about the inlays. Next we have the Higgins India ink here. Which was my second choice up until I realized that it wasn't waterproof and um, you're going to end up with it on your fingers. And then the Varathane Classic Black, which... Honestly, that's the one I like the best. If you can find this yellow can, Varathane Classic Penetrating Wood Stain, Classic Black. This one I like the best. I like that you can actually still see some of the um, streaks, the dark streaks through the stain. Plus, I just feel like with these other products, when you, when you, when you move, like right there with the RIT, you can see that Phoebings has a much, it's got a high gloss, which I don't like, but the writ is almost like too, I don't know, like dusty. It looks dusty or something. And then the Higgins India ink was kind of good until I realized that it'll come off on your fingers if your fingers are wet. I don't know. I think I just lucked out on that Varathane. This, this is... This is what they had at Lowe's, and that's what I bought, and I feel like I was lucky to get the results I did. It was like, I don't know. I think it's like the best product here out of out of these. And then all the way back down at the bottom is the Ebony. I mean, I just, whatever. I don't even know why I bothered, but just thought I'd show you. Don't use the Minwax Ebony. You know what else the thing is about this Minwax Ebony? It's got like a waxy feel to it when you touch it just doesn't feel the best. So, there you go. My recommendation, if you're going to ebonize a fretboard, go with the Varathane Classic Black. That's my recommendation.